the Big Top film is about um, Lucas, um, this little boy, his dream of becoming a performer. He's talented, but throughout the movie, he actually he actually convinces everybody that the circus is his life. That's where he belongs to. What I loved about the script is I love the fact that there were chance of creativity because it was a circus. The circus gives you a moment of performances and bright colors and things going on constantly. When I wrote the, the script, um, I had a lot of images in, in my mind, how, how I wanted, how I envisioned Lucas, the way I wanted um, Sarah, Jacob, Angelica, every, like the way I wanted the costumes, the way I wanted the colors, what... <sighs> I love the circus. Um, I think it's a magical world where you have so many characters, you have so many people, you have so many colors, and me as a visual artist, I found it super interesting to combine it with you know, an actual script, have a story about the circus. I think when I write, I think in images, so that's the way I, I, I visualize it, and I think it was a critical world to develop as a production so um, my inspiration was just childhood memories you know that I have like when the circle used to go to town and, and we used to go and I think it's an amazing world. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your hands together to receive the most entertaining Shingara! I think, in my opinion, the message of the film was one of strength and one of character, that you can overcome adversity uh, if you just try hard enough and if you believe in yourself. And I think the little boy showed that uh, in the, the loss of his mother and that in his dream of being a performer. And uh, he just kept at it, kept at it, kept at it, and he finally achieved his dreams. I thought it was a wonderful message for youth and for adults. When the faculty told me um, my actual crew, I loved it. You know, working with Brianna, um, Diana, Dinara. It was, I loved it because we've worked together before and we understand each other. Oh my God. Um, when I found out I was producing the Circles film, I was so happy. I, well, I was even happier because of the crew I got. When I found out who my crew was, these people, we've worked together several times in the past in school. Um, and I, I kind of say that we have, I have this saying that we have all-stars. You know, these few aren't the only all-stars, so no disrespect to anyone else, but I'm saying that we have a particular amount of all-stars in our class. We have a good class, but we have a few all-stars. And I feel that I, our group had majority of all the all-stars. What you see in the big screen it's nothing compared to the people that were standing behind it. And action! Thank you all for coming, Noah. I'm gonna show you what I can do. Every aspect of the movie, we, we took it seriously. You know, the cinematography, the acting, the production. And we are students and we this is a learning process. I think we learned a lot when we were doing it, but we took it so seriously that I think that that's the reason why we have such a good movie. If we had a strong head as a producer, I was like, okay, okay, cool, we have Deanna, she has experience, she, she knows what she's doing. Oh, okay, we have Edwin, Edwin makes beautiful movies, you know, Edwin is very anal. He, 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 he picks everything out as if he has like OCD or something, and I know that for a fact that we'll get everything done. As a producer, it was a challenge, and I love challenges. I didn't want to make just any film, I didn't want to make just a film that everybody's used to seeing and 
which the school has had many of those films that are just forgettable. I wanted to make something that was timeless, that was remembered forever, that every time um, they were gonna show a, something from the school or film was in the top, you know, like right of one of those films that is like, yeah, because you guys have to do it like the big top. I wanted to be the producer of the big top. Bringing to you for the very first time with the sharpest aiming skills in the world, Bullseye Boy! During pre-production, Edwin and I did research on a few films and music videos that, you know, represent the, the style and the look of the film. So we looked at films like Emily, um, the colors in Emily were gorgeous. The cinematography in Emily were gorgeous. So we looked at films like that. We looked at a film called The Big Fish, um, just because it was about the circus, but everything in The Big Fish, the, the style and where they shot The Big Fish, we, we looked at that. We looked at the, um, a Christina Aguilera music video called The Hurt, and that was mainly our source of influence, um, but also, my grandmother used to watch a Showtime TV show when I was, you know, a little bit younger, and it was called Carnival, and it was shot. It was shot using the available light, the high contrast of available light. I just want to be a part of the show. This again? Give me an audition. I want to perform just like Mom and Dad did. Working with Brenna was great because she was open, you know, to to any ideas we had, and it was a, we were like together working everything. She's great. She used to tell me her ideas, I used to tell her my ideas, and together we developed the whole story, you know, because I had a vision and she had her vision, and me as a director and she as a director of photography, um, we both work it together. I remember Edwin saying every scene is like a movie, so we want to give appreciation and support to every scene. So every scene we sat there and we purposely focused on every scene to give it its own personality. We took the time to actually think about it and we, we had so many challenges, but I think we overcame those challenges and we have a good movie. I could, I could go on the list of challenges forever. Producing the big top was a challenge itself. It was a period piece. I mean, we had to get props. We had to have lighting for the the, air, the timing period. Transportation. <laughs> Our budget was very limited. We had like no money to to make it. So every, you know there were um, events that were made to actually raise money, and we, those events had to be produced. And I mean, everybody from the other groups helped. Thank God to 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 have this delivered. Pink one? Oh, it's you again. Um, to get a tent was a challenge. We tried contacting um, actual circuses so to see if we can rent a tent, if we could um, have one of those tents only for certain days. And we actually contacted some tent companies locally here in Miami. We made um, sponsoring packages. We, we went to see them directly and at the end of the day, when that, when we saw that that was not get, uh, taking us anywhere, we decided to build our own tent. Lucas, what are you doing? I think time was the biggest, you know, challenge. Time runs by. Oh my God! And when I when I re when I remember when I try to remember the 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 production and what we did on set. Um, it's like we did so much it's that sometimes you can't actually re you can't actually remember every single detail because it runs so fast and you have to move so quick and you have to put lights and you have to move camera you have you have to think so fast. Time was against us as far as locations. Like we were at Wanadu City, and um, the issue of okay, we we organized this 
amount of time that we were here. So we say we're going to be here for two days. We have to get everything done in two days. We have about 30 shots a day. Oh, people told us we can't do 30 shots a day. We were like, oh, okay, we're going to make 30 shots a day. We prepped really good for 30 shots a day, and we did it. Juggling with the locations, we worked with one at the city, which I am very grateful they, they helped us out. They, Eduardo Morones and, and, and their crew were, were just great to us. Learn from your mistakes and you become a stronger person. Let me tell you, you're much more than a balloon seller. The thing is that every, like, everybody was, oh, forget about the little person, forget about the little person. You're not going to find it. They're charging you so much. Or I like I was like I wrote Jake I want I want Jacob to be a little person I wanted that. I mean, getting the right people for the job was it's key. You have the wrong casting, you can have the best story, but you have bad actors. Everything goes to the floor. Frank, Frank, I need, I need to, to talk, talk to you. you. Everything okay, okay Lucas. Lucas? Yeah, I just want to be a part of the show. My experience working with Daniel was very cool. He's such a professional actor and um, every direction I used to give him, it was, he took it very seriously and it was pretty easy working with him. It was really, really fun working with Hedwin. Lucas, what's going what's on? What's going on? Why are you so sad? No, I'm such a failure. No, you're not. You're not. Yes, I am, Sarah. Lucas, listen. Let me tell you a story. Well, Sarah is basically like a second mom to Lucas because she, um, Lucas's mom and dad died in the film. So Sarah is, basic, is really nice to Lucas, so Lucas thinks of her as like a second mom. Can I have the pink one? That would be 10 cents. 10 cents? One second, please. I only have seven cents. And come back when you have the rest. Working with Daniel was really fun because I've known him for a long time and we're good friends. We not only did casting for actors, we actually did casting for performers. We worked with Lori. I contact Lori um, via email. I received an email from Diana Castro asking if we could help her out with a project that she was doing on circus. And I was very excited about it because we all love the circus. That's what our school is. It's all about the circus. We have anywhere from Cirque du Soleil professionals to five-year-old children that have never done any circus acts in their life. So I offered her any and all help that I could give to her, whether it be performers, whether it be costumes, whether it be circus props. The way I felt when I first saw the film on a big screen feels so good. That is something that no one can ever take from a filmmaker. This is my life. I want to keep making movies to keep feeling the same thing. All of that work, when you see it on a big screen, feels so good. It's like, it's almost like childbirth. The feedback when, when the film finished, the feedback when, when the bearded lady came on, on, on the screen, the feedback from people laughing at what were jokes on our film were... Oh, it's just heart touching. But everybody loved the movie, you know, my family loved it, my friends loved it. I think that everyone that was involved in the film from my circus school were truly uh, blown away by the outcome of the film. Uh, as I said, we're circus people, we're not film people. And when we saw the finished result, I for one brought tears to my eyes and is about to do it again. It was so professionally done, so wonderful. All the actors, all the performers, they looked amazing. The story gelled together so well in such a cohesive manner. It really gave a message in a very short time. Really, everyone that participated in it, everyone that saw it was blown away. We had no idea it was going to be that, that great of a show, and it really, it was heartwarming, it was touching, and very professionally done. We were very pleased to be a part of it. That's my biggest satisfaction, that the audience loved it.